Okay, so we've talked about the, the trade discounts. We've talked about the invoicing and the invoice modifiers and the discounts and even freight. There's one thing we need to add to it. And that is Let's say we got an invoice that is dated June 19th and the amount of $4,700, not worrying about freight right now, terms 210 net 30. Payment of $2,000 is made on June 27th. Find the outstanding balance or the balance due. So what this means is they made a payment of $2,000. And obviously that's not enough to cover the full amount. So there's still some that's due. But if we look at our timeline here, June 19th is the invoice date because there's no modifiers. 10 days from there would be June 29th. They made that date. Their payment is in that 2% discount period. Then of course they have until July 19th to pay off the balance. So on July 19th, what would be the balance due on or before that date after making this $2,000 payment? Well, a lot of people think that unless you pay the full amount, you don't get the cash discount. That is not true. You get the discount even on a partial payment. And that's what this is considered is a partial payment. The amount of the credit goes off of that discount formula that we looked at before, where you take the payment, or sorry, take the balance, or the amount credited, usually that's the full balance is what we get credited, times, this is 2%, so that'd be 0.98, 98%, equals the amount paid. Well, in this case, we don't know the amount credited. In the last, in the past, we've looked at the invoice amount and we've paid the whole amount. So we took the invoice amount, used the discount to figure out how much we had to pay. In this case, we know that they paid $2,000 and we want to figure out how much they were credited. So to figure that out, we're going to work backwards and we're going to divide by 0.98. So the amount of the credit is the $2,000 divided by 0.98, which is what, 2,040, 40? I'll double check, just to be sure. It's late at night. Oh, 2,040, 82, a little off. So that is the amount credited. So what's the balance due? Well, 4,700 minus that credit which is going to be $2,659.18. Maybe another example or two to cement that one in. Any questions? So, invoice date. March 28th. The amount. $6,300. Terms. 
T10 EOM. Payment of $4,000 on April 6th. Find the outstanding balance. So again, first thing, EOM is going to modify our effective invoice date. EOM means it gets batched at the end of the month. Does this make it into the March batch? No. It's after the 26th. On or after the 26th goes in the next batch. So this goes in the April batch. So the effective invoice date is the last day of April, which is April 30th. 210 means it's the 10th day of the next month. So they have until May 10th to get the discount. Then, of course, the balance is going to be due on May 30th or 31st, depending on how you figure it. So this payment on April 6th more than makes it in the discount period. So how much are they going to get credited for their $4,000 payment. How do we figure it out? $4,000 divided by what? 0 0.98. 2% discount means 98% is paid. Divided by 0.98. So that's going to be 4,080, well, 4,081 something. 4,081.63. That is the credit. So from our 6,300, we're going to subtract that. Which is going to give us $2,218.37. by May 30th. So I have an invoice dated August 26th, amount due 28 or amount of the invoice 2800 Terms, 310 EOM, paid $1,500 on October 7th, find the balance due in your notes, find that balance due. Okay, so our timeline. Again, EOM, do we make it in the August batch? No, we're going to the September batch. Last day of September is the 30th. 310 means it's 3% up until the 10th of the next month would be October 10th. Due October 30th or 31st. <clears throat> October 7th means they get the 3% discount. So take 2800 divided by 0.97. This is 2886.60. That is the amount of the credit. Oops, I screwed up, didn't I? What did I screw up? It's late at night, I should be in bed. That's why I screwed up. What should have gone here? 1500 
1500 divided by 0.97 was the actual amount of the payment. I grabbed the wrong number. So 1500 divided by 0.97 should be better. 1546.39, that looks better. Can't credit them for more than the amount due, right? So that's the credit. So 2800 minus 1546.39 is going to give us an, a balance due of 12. 1,253.61. What do you think? Okay, because the reason we divide by 0.97 is the amount that you get credited, which is normally for paying the whole amount, is the whole balance, the whole amount. You multiply by that 0.97, which is 100 minus your discount. That gives you the amount that you paid. But in this case, we have the amount paid and the 0.97. We're working our way backwards to get to the credit. So since the credit is multiplied by 0.97, to work backwards, you take the amount paid divided by 0.97. So let's look at August 3rd is our date. The amount $6,700, including $300 in prepaid freight. Terms, 210 net 30. Paid. $3,500 on August 10th. Again, find the balance due. This one is different because we have the freight included in there. We do our timeline. There's no modifiers here, so this is just going to be August 3rd. August 13th is 10 days later. And September 2nd would be the 30 days later. You could use the chart on page 396 again if you need that. They paid August 10th right here, which means they are firmly in that 2% discount period. They made a payment of $3,500. So are we, we going to take 3,500 divided by 0.98? Well, normally we would, but this time we're not. What's different this time? Oh, the last couple of examples didn't have freight. This example does. Remember, one thing we said about freight is there's never a discount on freight. The second thing about freight is since it's a reimbursed expense, the freight is always paid first. So out of that $3,500, we're going to pay the $300 in freight first. So $3,200 is eligible for the discount. So I'm going to pause there. Any questions on how we got to $3,200? We have a $3,500 payment, but we pay the freight of $300 first. Now that $3,200 is going to get divided by what? 2%, so it's going to get divided by 0.98, giving us 3265.31. That is the credit. Now, once again, we're going to have to be careful. Are we going to subtract that from $6,700? Why not? Because 300 of that $6,700 was freight. 
We already paid the freight. So merchandise was only $6,400. The $300 was already paid there, so that's why we can subtract it out. So we're going to take that $6,400 and we're going to subtract the $32,65,31. You get $3,134.69 is the balance due. Any questions? Okay. Let's do another one like that. More importantly, let's have you do another one. So our date's going to be March 27th. The amount of the invoice, $4,400. Buyer prepaid, two fifty dollars in freight. Notice the wording here. Is the 250 included in the 44? No, it's not. It's not included. It's above and beyond the 4400. Terms 110 net 30 ROG. Delivered on April 2nd. Payment of $2,500 on April 8th. Find the balance due. Or outstanding balance, however you want to word it. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to do this in your notes. So because of the ROG, our timeline is going to start on April 2nd. So 10 days would put us at April 12th. Then, of course, the 30 days would put us on May 2nd. And we get the 1% discount because our payment is made on the 8th. So now we don't have to take the 20, 250 out of the 4400 because it's not part of that amount because of the way this is worded. But we do have to take the 250 out of our partial payment of 2500 before we find a discount. So 2500 minus 250 is 2250 that's going to get applied towards the merchandise. Now the freight is completely paid. We don't have to worry about that anymore. What are we going to divide the 2250 by? Well, it's a 1% discount, so we divide by 0.99. Gives us That is the amount credited towards merchandise. Now in this case, the 4400 was all merchandise. The 250 for freight was separate from that. So we're just going to take our 4400 and subtract the 2272, which is going to give us $2,127.20. That is the balance due. Any questions? How many of you feel comfortable doing problems like this by yourself right now? Okay, good. MCL Corporation purchases 
$24,000 worth of merchandise. Worth of items. That is list price. MCL receives a trade discount of nine ten two four hundred dollar shipping is prepaid by the seller. Oh, invoice date of April twenty eighth. Terms of two ten EOM. A partial payment of ten thousand dollars is made on June sixth. Find that balance due. This is a long one. First thing we have to do is actually have to find the invoiced amount. Because the invoiced amount is not 24,000. Can anybody tell me why? $24,000 is list price. They don't pay list price. They get a trade discount. Of nine ten two. So that gives us a net decimal equivalent of nine percent is going to be 0 0.91, 91 percent times ten percent leaves us with ninety percent, so 0 0.90. Two percent leaves us with ninety eight percent, so 0 0.98. Bless you. So 0 0.91 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.98 is 0 0.80262. So we're going to take that 24,000 in merchandise times 0 0.80262. If you get 19,262.88, that is the invoiced amount. Any questions so far? Okay, so we have the $10,000 partial payment. Does all that get a discount? Well, first of all, is it in the discount period? It's EOM. Does not make it into the April batch. It goes into the May, mat, May batch. So its effective date is actually May 30th. So the discount goes until June 10th. So they do get the 2% discount. Do they get it on the full $10,000 payment? Say no. Why not? $400 in shipping was prepaid by the seller. The $10,000 first has to pay off the shipping. So ten thousand minus four hundred dollars, nine thousand six hundred dollars 
goes towards the merchandise and is applied with the discount. So a 2% discount, what are we going to do with the 9600? Divide by 0 0.98. 97.95.92. That is the amount of the credit. That's going to get applied towards the actual invoiced amount. So 19,262.88 minus 9,795.92. 9,000. $466.96 is the balance due that still needs to be paid at the end of June. <clears throat> what do you think? There's a lot there, isn't there? Do you guys want to try one on your own before we wrap it up for the night? Why not, right? What do you have to lose? Time. PDQ Incorporated buys items listed for, so in other words, list price, $8,000. And the seller prepays $180 in freight. PDQ's trade discount is $12.7. The terms are $310 net 30. The invoice date is November 2nd. PDQ paid $4,500 on November 8th. Find the balance due. I'll give you a few minutes to try that and then we'll talk it over. Let's see how you're doing. So our first step is going to be to find the invoiced amount. The invoice amount, first step is going to be to find our net decimal equivalent from our trade discount. Here we have a chain trade discount of 12.7. So a 12% discount, remember again we subtract it from 100. 100 minus 12 is 88, so that's going to be 0 0.88 times. The second discount is 7%. 100 minus 7 is 93, so 0 0.93. So we multiply 0 0.88 times 0 0.93 to get 0 0.8184. That is the net decimal equivalent. So we will find our invoice amount by taking the $8,000 list price times 0.8184. So 6547.20. So $6,547.20 is the invoiced amount. Next, do they get the discount? Yeah, dated November 2nd, paid November 8th. That was six days. That's within the 10 days. So they get the 3% discount. Do they get it on the whole 4,500? No. There's 180 in freight that is paid first. So 4,500 minus 180 is 4,000. $320. That's after freight. 
that amount receives a 3% discount. So we're going to divide it by 0.97. So 4320 divided by 0.97. 445361. That is the amount credited towards the balance, to the invoice balance. So now we're going to take the invoice amount, $6,547.20, and we're going to subtract $4,453.61. So 59... Three nine zero two. $2,093.59 is the balance due. Any questions? Okay, I think you guys have suffered enough for the night. There is a new quiz due tomorrow. That's Wednesday. At 11.59 p.m. There is a new homework. Due next week. Next Tuesday. Now there's one more week left in Unit 2. That will be next Tuesday. will be the last lecture of Unit 2. The Tuesday after that, which I believe is the 13th of October, is an in-service day. So there is not class that night. So your test, your Unit 2 test, will be on the 20th. So you get an extra week to study for the test. So test two is coming up on, just double checking, that is October 20th. Okay.